right, so how you guys doing? Uh, thanks for the giveaway video. It worked out really good. Uh, we got up to 225 and beyond, so thanks for all your support. Uh, today I got a review video um, of my boots. Now, I almost didn't buy these boots because of the reviews online. It said how they leaked and they were hard to get on and off, and there was a lot of negative um, comments about these boots. But they fit the mission that I wanted to do the most, so I got them. I went out on a limb and got them. Like I said, this is the second full year I've had them, and they're an amazing boot. Uh, so the first thing about them is they're, they're all welded. Like you can see in here, all of these seams are welded. Um, and this back part is really soft and you can, to, to get your foot in. Now, I will say... Getting your foot out of these can be a little bit of a chore, but they got a nice big, you can see right there, that big back piece, and it's easy to get the boot, you know, your boot on top of it to, to get the boot off. Um, I would say that's my only criticism of these boots. Now, I've had them for two years. I've used them pheasant hunting, deer hunting, um, and fishing, you know, if I'm fishing from the shore. They're comfortable like gym shoes. The other part that I like is the insole comes out comes out nice and easy and then so if you have heated insoles you can slip those in there real easy and they fit right in there um, the color works well they have not leaked one bit and I've put these things through um, a lot a lot of water a lot of you know mid uh, shin high water never got a drop of water in these things the tread you can see is really nice it's like thick and that's worn down a little bit too just because you can kind of see how much I've used them but the tread is really really good um, big thick uh, so you get a lot of traction one thing I will say if you can see the top of the toe there um, right there that it's hard to see on the video but right in here some of the camo actually wore off one time when I was pheasant hunting so that's like one of the only other bad things I would say. Um, there's an adjustable strap up here so you can kind of tighten them down a little bit. Um, but if you're worried and you see the reviews on these boots, I'm telling you right now, these boots are great. If you're a deer hunter or a pheasant hunter, um, the nice part about these is I can walk all day in these and pheasant hunt, believe it or not. They look a little big and bulky, but they're really not. They're light for a big rub for a hunting rubber boot. Um, they also have 800 grams of uh, tinselate in them. So the cool part about that is they're warm enough to wear in really pretty cold weather without, you know, without other than just wool socks and liners. But they're cool enough that you can walk in them if you're pheasant hunting so, or fishing. So that's why I like them. Um, again, the two cons with these are the paint. The finish kind of rubbed off a little bit when I was pheasant hunting the one time, but it was early season. And I was walking through some pretty, pretty gnarly grass. And then getting them off, like I say, it, it can be a little bit of a chore. But the benefits that the boot gives you um, far outweigh any of those. So that's uh, my take on the Rutmaster 2.0 with 800 grams of Finsulate. Um, if you get a chance to buy a pair of these, go ahead and get them. They're, uh, they're a great buy. And they'll last. Now, these are, like I said, this is my second full year that I've wore these. And still have yet to get a drop of water in them or anything so all right there you have it thanks for watching